Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the five things that I love about the new BMW i4 M50. Before we get into the video, though, as always, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Now, the first thing has to pertain to the looks. So I know that the 4 Series and the 3 Series have been pretty controversial because they have the Mega Grill, right? Very, very large BMW Kidney Grill, but overall, I think this is a really good looking car on the outside. I've gotten so many compliments on this car, and there's a lot of people that basically, after seeing this in person, want one now just because of how good it looks. Um, just like most modern vehicles, I feel like videos and pictures just don't do them uh, justice. And so yeah, it definitely applies to this. It just has this cool sleek kind of like slightly futuristic look. I mean, obviously it still looks like a BMW, but yeah, the new 4 Series looks great. And for some reason, it looks better as an electric car. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it's just, it is what it is. Now, number two is the interior. Now this is something that's impressed me with modern BMWs quite a bit, and that is just their interior quality. It has improved so much over the years, like especially when you don't get it in all black. Like it just looks really cool, and this is definitely a case study of that. Like just the contrast with the interior. I really like the big screen there on the dash. It has that cool kind of like spaceship feel to it. And this is just a very nice, luxurious feeling interior. Again, I feel like, you know, 10, 20 years ago, BMW interiors felt kind of cheap. It's like you basically paid the price to get a really fun, sporty car, whereas now you still get a really, like, nice interior overall. So I think they did a really good job just, like, across the lineup with BMWs. Number three is the self-driving. So this is something else that's actually impressed me quite a bit, and that is the self-driving here with the M50. So... This isn't the Tesla autopilot level of self-driving. It's basically cruise control with steering assistance where you just have to lightly have your hand on the steering wheel and it'll do everything for you. That being said, I had to intervene very rarely. Like this car pretty much did most of the driving for me with the time that I've had it and I've driven it well, yeah, I have over 6,000 miles now. So I've driven this car for almost 500 miles already. And it's just a really good system overall. And frankly, I'm not a fan of like the full-on self-driving where it changes lanes for you and everything because I find it to be less efficient than what I do from a driving perspective. Like if I want to change the lane, I'm going to change the lane myself. Like I don't need the car to do it for me. I know some of you uh, Tesla people will say otherwise, but really good system. Number four is the range. Now, when I read the EPA rating of 227 miles of range, I was pretty disappointed and I was also concerned because I have commutes on a regular basis that are over 200 miles. And so I was like, I'm not gonna be able to drive this car. But what I found out pretty quickly is the EPA range is not accurate at all. I don't know what the EPA is smoking right now, but they do not know how to range test electric vehicles apparently. Because I live in Utah, which is over 4,000 feet elevation. And I've been having fun with this car. Like I floor it when I wanna floor it. And the flow of traffic here in Utah on the interstate typically travels at about 85 miles per hour, which is way faster than most other interstates across the US. And so what that means is I should be getting horrible range with this car and I've been getting almost 300 miles of range. So the EPA needs to learn how to test electric vehicles and suffice to say, this thing gets amazing range. So I bet if you lived in a climate that wasn't so hot or cold like Utah and you had your flow of traffic at like 60, 70 miles an hour, you'd probably be able to get over 300 miles of range with the new i4, which is right there with Tesla. Like that's amazing. Now, number five is the fact that this is easy to use. Now, this is a very, very important point to me because Obviously, we have a bunch of mandates pushing automakers to push electric cars onto us, and most electric cars, frankly, are garbage because they look really weird, and we've already discussed that this actually looks really good. It looks like a normal car, and they have a bunch of functions that are really weird to use, but, like, everything on this car makes sense. Like, yes, it has these, like, flat aerodynamic door handles, but guess what? They're, like, you just go up and you pull it up, like... Anyone can figure that out. Like you can have an IQ of like negative 500 and you can figure that out. Guess what? It has a key fob with normal buttons on it. And it has a trunk that opens up normally, right? So like it, it's a normal car. And then you guys saw the backseat area briefly, but like you have little climate controls there in the center. Like you have a normal, like it's, look at this. Take note, Tesla, door handle, right? Normal door handle. Again, automakers think they need to make these electric cars like quirky, but it's like, no, people just want a regular car. Again, look at this. Power adjustments on the side. 
You can see normal steering wheel controls. We have a gauge cluster, we have an infotainment system. And then down below, we have like our regular shifter and everything, no crazy like dial, like everything just makes sense. And so I think this is just a huge step forward for EVs because this frankly is an EV that I personally would buy because I don't feel like I'm having to stretch too much in terms of like making changes for this because it's, it's just a normal car. That's gonna sum things up for the five things I love about the new BMW i4 M50. With that being said, I'll see all of you in the next video.